sunrise and sunset direction debunks the flat earth. In my previous video, I showed a situation where it's December the 22nd and the sun is over South America, over the Tropic of Capricorn. It is sunrise in New Zealand and sunset in South Africa, midday in South America. Now, if we translate this onto a flat earth map, we have the same scenario, midday in South America, sunrise in New Zealand and sunset in South Africa. So if you're in New Zealand on this December the 22nd, which direction should you face to see the sun rise? Should you face northeast, as this map is indicating? In fact, you have to face southeast, as we explained in the last video. For proof that the sun rises and sets from the south in the southern hemisphere in December, see link in the description. Now in this video, we're going to look at sunset and also give another explanation of why the sun sets and rises the direction it does. We have the same scenario as before. Sun is right over South America. There's sunrise in New Zealand and they face that direction to see the sun. If you're in South Africa for sunset, which direction should you look to see the sun set? Now, it looks like you should look northwest, but in fact, we know that you look southwest. Before we explain what's truly going on here, we just have to emphasize that this has completely debunked the flat earth model because we have to realize that all this is happening at the exact same moment. At the same moment that it's midday in South America, it is sunset in South Africa, it is sunrise in New Zealand. New Zealand is looking southeast towards Antarctica for their sunrise. South Africa is looking southwest towards Antarctica for their sunset. And people in South America are looking straight above them if they're right here for their noon. If they're a bit more south, they're looking north. If they're a bit north of the sun, they're looking south. And all this is happening all in one moment. And it makes no difference if you want to say this map is not 100% accurate and you need to change a few countries. Let's say put New Zealand 5,000 miles this way and South Africa 5,000 miles the other way and say the map is not 100% accurate, but it makes a difference because at the end of the day, people in South Africa are looking towards Antarctica for the sunset, southwest. People in New Zealand are looking towards Antarctica for the sunrise, southeast. And it makes a difference if New Zealand's here or here and South Africa's here or here. There is no way you can build a map to explain what's going on at the very same moment the sun's right overhead here, sunset in South Africa, southwest, and sunrise in, in New Zealand, southeast. It's impossible to build a flat earth map that will make sense. Now, if we use a flat map like this type of map, it's not going to help us either because South Africa, they're looking southwest. If the sun's over here, over South America, why are they looking this direction to see the sun set? And why are the people in New Zealand looking southeast towards Antarctica to see the sun rise. And if we take a situation in the northern hemisphere, this time it's in June, the summer solstice, the people in London actually look northeast to see the sun rise, and the sun's right over here, so why are you looking northeast? And the people in America are looking northwest to see the sun set at the very same moment the sun is over here. Now, this can only be explained with a globe. In order to truly understand what is going on, we have to use a globe and we have to orientate the Earth the way it is orientated in space. Now, the Earth is tilted on its axis 23 degrees and it revolves around the Sun. Now we can revolve it with the months over here. And as it goes around the Sun, it's the Sun rays, if you look at over here, the Sun rays will face a different direction on the Earth. Now, if we go to December, which is the month we're talking about, you can see the sun rays are coming more from the south. Now, if you're at this point over here, which is sunrise, you would have to look southeast to see the sunrise. Now, if you look over here, you have to look southeast, whether you're in the southern hemisphere or the northern hemisphere, you always have to look 
southeast to see the sun at sunrise because the sun is coming from this direction. You have to look southeast to see the sun rise. As the earth moves around the sun, you'll notice that the rays over here are changing. So keep an eye on that. We move it towards the equinox. And if you're situated on this line here, this is the sunrise terminator. So on this side is day, this side is night, and here is sunrise. So if you're looking this way, you'll see the sunrise directly east everywhere in the world on the equinox. Let's move the another three months. We'll bring it to June. And there we have the solstice. At this point, the sun is directly over the Tropic of Cancer. So if you're situated in Tropic of Cancer, the sun will be right on your head. There. But if you're, that's at midday, but at sunrise, everyone will have to look northeast to see the sunrise. So this line over here is sunrise. So everyone is looking northeast to see the sunrise. Doesn't matter if you're in the Southern Hemisphere or the Northern Hemisphere, you all have to look northeast. We bring it to the next equinox, everyone looks east, and back to December, everyone looks, everyone looks southeast to see the sunrise at this point. Here we can see the same thing, but at a larger scale, and this time we're looking at sunset. So this line over here is the sunset, and we're looking at December, at the winter solstice, it's summer in the southern hemisphere. So if you're on this point over here, this is midday. But if you're at this point over here, this is sunset. So everyone is looking southwest to see the sunset. Doesn't matter if you're in the northern hemisphere and you see the sun, it's facing southwest. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, you still have to look southwest to see the sun. It doesn't matter where you are. So if we start this simulator, as the months go by, we reach the equinox, everyone's going to look exactly west to see the sunset. And we get to June. It doesn't matter if you're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere, everyone has to look northwest to see the sun set in June. And as we, as the months go by, we come to the equinox again. Everyone looks exactly west. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Everyone has to look exactly west to see the sun set. Here we have another type of simulator. And this is a sun path simulator. So we have a man in the middle. We have east, we have west, north and south. We're gonna to go to December 22nd, look in the Southern hemisphere and it's sun sets southwest. Now, if you go to the northern hemisphere, the sun also sets southwest, but earlier. So we have a shorter day. So as we go higher in the northern hemisphere, more north, the sun will set earlier, but still sets southwest. So we can bring this down to the southern hemisphere. As you can see, the sun is quite high in the sky because it's about three, so in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going to have sunset quite early, around three o'clock, 3 p.m. And as we go to the Southern Hemisphere, 3 p.m. is summer, and we're not going to have summer sunset so early, so sunset is much later, but it's still southwest. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, on that day, everyone's going to have sunset southwest. You can also go to SunCalc and you can put in the date. We're going to put in December. So let's put in December 22nd. And again, we're going to look at sun. We're going to look at sunset. And it doesn't matter where you put the location, it's always going to be southwest, rising southeast. So even in the southern hemisphere, we're going to be looking southwest to see the sun set. Now, if we put this in the northern hemisphere, it's going to be 
southwest to see the sunset. Now, go to this position, southwest to see the sunset. So, in the southern hemisphere, the sun rises southeast, comes over your head. Midday, it is north over your head, and then sets southwest on December the 22nd. Let's go to the northern hemisphere. Again, it rises south east, but a very much shorter day because the sun doesn't go to your north, it actually goes to your south. The sun rises southeast and has a very short day and sets southwest. So again, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, the sun is going to rise south east and set southwest. In the northern hemisphere, you're going to have very short days. The sun will rise southeast, go, go to your south and set southwest. But in the southern hemisphere, the sun is going to rise southeast, come to your north and set southwest. None of this makes any sense in the flat earth model. In this model, you're looking at the sun from multiple places at the exact same time in very different directions. So South Africa, you're looking southwest. In New Zealand, you're looking southeast. In South America, you're looking at your noon. And the sun is all, according to this model, in many different places at the same time. So this makes absolutely no sense. The only model that can explain why the sun rises and sunset from the south in the southern hemisphere is the globe model. In this model, you can see everyone looks southwest. Even the people in the southern hemisphere must look southwest. But in the flat earth model, this is impossible. Thus, the flat earth model has been debunked.